What's up everyone and welcome to a new review. Today we're going to be checking out the Hollyland Mars T1000 1000 foot full duplex wireless intercom system. Basically, it's a way for you to talk to your friends when you're out shooting. There's so much to go over, but I'm going to try to break it down with you. And for starters, let's see what the range and audio quality is like. All right, so I'm gonna start this review off outside. It's pretty windy and I wanted to do an audio test and a range test. So around this corner is actually a thousand feet and I'm gonna jump on the one wheel and go all the way down, keep talking the whole way and then see when I cut out uh, because I don't know, we like it to a thousand feet. We did some range testing in the house when we were shooting a short film, which I'll talk about later, but it performed pretty great. So let's see. Dun, 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 I'm heading off. For my trip this will also be a good test for like high wind scenarios because it's pretty windy today already i'm like really far and it, it kind of freaks me out and right now i'm at about 500 feet away range is awesome and all but how's the audio quality because if i'm like shooting at an event i want to be able to hear whoever i'm talking to i'm gonna go all the way to a thousand feet and then we'll truly test how good this thing is so now I'm at about 700 feet and I'm getting pretty far. I imagine that it would start cutting out, but we shall see. All right, so this is a thousand feet and my one wheel is dying. So I'm gonna head back. Can you hear me? I'm already impressed. And if this wind filter is doing its job, it should perform pretty well when I was going fast on the one wheel. And two, this is a small form factor. If you're out shooting, I don't want anything that's gonna weigh me down. And with this little belt buckle clip, it's pretty powerful. You can clip it on your belt or you can attach a neck strap, but now's the moment of truth. You guys know already, but I don't know. Is the audio good? The audio quality kind of sounds like you're talking to someone through a cell phone or one of those old time AM, FM radios. Now, it, it's not that bad though, because when you're shooting at an event, when it's really loud, you can crank up the volume and you can hear the other person clearly. And that's why I wanna jump into the next portion. What is this for? Basically an intercom system is used to communicate with your team when you're out shooting. In my line of work, I use it for events. So when I'm at an event, I can talk to my team and they can tell me where to go to shoot or I can give them an insight on something that's about to happen from my vantage point. And at a price point like this, at around $1,800, it may seem expensive, but compared to other intercom systems, this is actually pretty reasonably priced. So let's jump to my past self when we were shooting a short film and see how it performed in a real world scenario. Now you can see that Jasmine and John are planning the shot right here, background, because John is outside with the light. Say hello, John. Hello, John. That is me. That is John out there. He is setting the light and then... Jasmine is over here because she is filming a short film. Say hey. Uh, I'm Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. And then we have an actor right here. Is that the lowest it goes? No, it's at 35 right now. I'll it just keep dimming and you tell me to stop. Keep dimming. Keep dimming because it looks a little hot right now. Maybe. I can also redirect, like reposition it. Okay. That is. So I want to. It's like I want a hair light on him, but like a soft. I could also just put the diffuser on. What would you say? The main benefit of having an intercom system like this is when we're trying to film a short film on a budget inside. Well, I think the uh, the advantage is that I can now talk to John clearly because he's outside. Yeah, he's outside uh, shooting the light. Right. Getting the light set up. Whereas, like, I would have to either have him on the phone or I would have to yell through this wall so that he could hear me. And so I think it's nice because I can tell him to, like, hey, can you dim the light, like, a little bit? And he's outside and I'm so I think that this is actually super helpful. Honestly, like being able to just communicate with each other on set, talk to our BTS, our main shooter, the lighting and whatever I'm doing, like it's incredible. It's incredible. I like it. And yeah. I mean, the audio is pretty good. It, it kind of sounds like a cell phone almost, like cell phone quality. I mean, it's loud and clear. And like we were on opposite ends of the house. I was even outside. After the first real world test, I'm honestly impressed. The fact that we can actually communicate with each other through the entire house and hear each other loud and clear without any interference is pretty incredible considering there's a lot of walls that we're going through and we have quite some distance between us. 
I'd say this passed the real world test. I was skeptical at first, but it was such a great feature being able to tell lighting where to go and honestly where to position each other when we were shooting our first short film. So let's talk specs. The battery life on the belt packs will get you around eight hours and you can use the included USB-C chargers and plug those into the four USB ports on the base station to charge those up when they are dead. And now the base station actually has two power options. I'm a huge fan of staying wireless and not having to be attached to a wall. So you can actually get 20 hours if you use Sony F970 batteries. And that's pretty much what I only use. You do have the option to connect to a wall outlet as well using the included XLR adapter. Now looking at the belt packs, it feels sturdy. Like when you put this in your hand, it has some weight to it, so it doesn't feel cheap at all. On the top, there's this really satisfying on-off switch, which also is your volume. So you can click it on and off. On the right-hand side, you have your mute and talk button. You can hold that down for four seconds and it will allow you to talk or you can mute yourself. You have your five volt USB-C charger and you also have a tally if you wanna connect a light up to that as well. The front screen is OLED and it's pretty nice. If you hold down the middle button, you can see a pair option. There's an application to see which uh, setting you're in. If you're in a quiet place or a noisy place, you can set those directly with the actual belt pack itself. Now looking at the base station, this thing is pretty small. From the front panel, you have your on-off switch on the left-hand side, and then you have a large OLED screen where you can access the settings. Just hold down the middle button, and you can scroll through here and do anything you need to as far as adjusting the mic gain or controlling your four-wire setting if you plug this into another intercom system. You also have a remote mic kill if you want to mute everyone on the channel, and you can control the volume of everyone with with the dial on the right hand side. And you can also use the headset jack to monitor everything. On the right hand side, you have your four USB ports for charging, and then you have a type C port if you need to update this in the future. On the back, you have two antennas that you can screw in and they will help you with range. On the left hand side, you have your power adapter and an intercom four wire for connecting to another intercom system. However, on the bottom, there is no mounting options. Now I see some screws on the bottom, but where's the quarter inch thread? I wanna put this on a C-stand and I can't. Ultimately, you're gonna to have to decide for yourself if you wanna pick one of these up. Since I ran into minimal interference issues and the price is pretty decent for what you get, I think this is a no-brainer. And I'm definitely gonna be using this on future projects and I can't wait because this thing is powerful. The small form factor and the ability to take it anywhere with the use of Sony batteries is a plus. Thanks again, Hollyland, for sending this out for a review. I can't wait to see what we do next.